सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोश ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री क्वालिटी करिकुलम एंड असेसमेंट पार्ट वन चैप्टर थ्री क्वालिटी करिकुलम एंड असेसमेंट पेज नंबर फोर्टी फोर ट्वेंटी सेवन फाइव प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर स्ट्रक्चर द करिकल एंड पेडोगोजिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द करिकल फ्रेमवर्क फॉर स्कूल एजुकेशन एज रेकमेंडेड बाय एन ई पी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बी गाइडेड बाय अ फाइव प्लस थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर डिजाइन एग्जिस्टिंग अकेडमिक स्ट्रक्चर टेन ईयर्स एज सिक्स टू सिक्सटीन टू ईयर्स एज सिक्सटीन टू एटीन न्यू अकेडमिक स्ट्रक्चर फंडामेंटल थ्री ईयर्स आंगनवाड़ी प्री स्कूल और बाल वाटिका एज थ्री टू सिक्स ईयर्स टू ईयर्स क्लास वन एंड टू एज सिक्स टू एट ईयर्स प्रेपरेटरी थ्री ईयर्स क्लास थ्री टू फाइव एज एट टू इलेवन ईयर्स मिडल थ्री ईयर्स क्लास सिक्स टू एट एज इलेवन टू फोर्टीन ईयर्स secondary four years class 9 to 12 age 14 to 18 years the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 stages are purely curricular and pedagogical designed to optimize learning for students based on the cognitive development of children and parallel changes to physical infrastructure will not be required the four stages under 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 are as follows the foundational stage 5 years for ages 3 to 8 for grades including 3 years of preschool to grade 2 consisting of 5 years of flexible multi level play or activity based learning and the curriculum and pedagogy of ECCE the preparatory stage 3 years for ages 12 to 14 and grades 6 to 8 comprising 3 years of education in order to lay a solid groundwork across subjects including reading writing speaking physical education art languages science and mathematics page number 45 building on the play discovery and activity based pedagogical and curricular style of the foundational stage will also begin to incorporate some light textbooks as well as aspects of more formal but interactive classroom learning the middle stage 3 years for ages 12 to 14 and grades 6 to 8 comprises 3 years of education building on the subject oriented pedagogical and curricular style of the middle stage but with the introduction of subject teachers for learning and discussion of the more abstract concepts in each subject 
experiential learning within each subject and explorations of relations among different subjects will be encouraged and emphasized despite the introduction of more specialized subjects and subject teachers. The secondary stage, four years for ages 15 to 18 and grades 9 to 12, comprises of four years of multidisciplinary study, building on the subject-oriented pedagogical and curricular style of the middle stage, but with greater depth, greater critical thinking, greater attention to life aspirations and greater flexibility and student choice of subjects. 28. Alternative Academic Calendar or AAC An alternative academic calendar, AAC, has been prepared by NCERT during COVID-19 pandemic for learning solutions for grade 1 to 12 for both children having access to a digital device or not having access to a digital device with a view to addressing the issues related to gaps and or loss of learning among students. It consists of interesting activities and challenges related to topics, themes in the syllabus, its benefits include Provides a roadmap for continuing teaching learning across the classes and subject areas in the pandemic period. All the activities given in the AAC are based on learning outcomes. Hence, it rationalizes the curriculum burden. It guides teachers and parents on the conduct of activities with students with digital or without digital devices. It provides guidelines for teachers on using a variety of ICT tools. It guides teachers on assessment activities and developing assessment questions based on learning outcomes. It guides teachers and parents in conducting activities that reduce the stress and anxiety of their children. It provides adequate space for art, health, physical education and yoga in the calendar in an integrated manner. Available at https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash alternative hyphen academic hyphen calendar dot php 29 art integrated learning ail ail is a teaching learning process which is based on learning with various art forms where art becomes the medium of teaching learning a key to understanding concepts within any subject of the curriculum. Documents are available at the following links. https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash announcement slash ail hyphen guidelines hyphen english dot PDF https colon slash slash CBSC Academic dot NIC dot in slash web hyphen material slash curriculars slash two thousand nineteen slash art hyphen integration dot PDF Page number 46 When a student is able to assess herself and her learning progress and also come up with a strategy herself or jointly with her teacher 
to imbibe relevant learning, it is considered as assessment as learning. This requires providing opportunities and space to students to critically assess, reflect and analyze their own work during the teaching learning process and identify their strengths and gaps. Students may be encouraged to assess themselves and reflect on peer and group work. 31. Assessment for Learning When the assessment of a student's comprehension and understanding of a skill or competency is embedded throughout the teaching learning process and is used for developmental purposes, it is considered to be assessment for learning. This is used interchangeably with the term formative assessment. This helps teachers not only to understand the learning gaps of each child, but also to reflect, review and modify their teaching learning as per the need and learning styles of students. It involves students as partners in planning, transaction and assessment of the teaching learning process and thus involves both giving and receiving feedback by the students. 32. Assessment of Learning At the end of a course or term or module, when a student is assessed for ranking her achievement against a standard or set of learning outcomes, then it is considered as assessment of learning. This is used interchangeably with the term summative assessment. It is used to benchmark students' learning against criteria, process skills, learning indicators and learning outcomes based on identified curricular aims and objectives. It provides comprehensive information regarding the extent of student learning vis-à-vis -vis curricular objectives on all aspects of curriculum including performance in different subject areas. 33. Bal Vatika NEP 2020 Para 1.6 has envisaged that prior to the age of five, every child will move to a preparatory class or Bal Vatika, that is, before class one, which has an ECCE qualified teacher. The learning in the preparatory class shall be based primarily on play-based learning with a focus on developing cognitive, affective and psychomotor abilities and early literacy and numeracy. 34. Bilingual Education Bilingual education refers to the use of two languages as mediums of instruction. It enables students to develop comprehensive abilities in a second language in terms of listening, speaking, reading and writing, whilst still ensuring complete fluency in their first language. 35. Bloom's Taxonomy of Learning Domains Bloom's taxonomy is one of the most recognized learning theories in the field of education. This comprises three learning domains, the cognitive, affective and psychomotor and assigns to each of these domains a hierarchy that corresponds to different levels of learning. Page number 47 1. Cognitive Mental skills Knowledge 2. 
अफेक्टिव ग्रोथ इन फीलिंग्स और इमोशनल एरियाज एटीट्यूड थ्री साइकोमोटर मैनुअल और फिजिकल स्किल्स स्किल्स कॉग्नेटिव थिंकिंग डोमेन द कॉग्नेटिव डोमेन इज फोकस्ड ऑन इंटेलेक्चुअल स्किल्स सच एज क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग एंड क्रिएटिंग अ नॉलेज बेस देर आर सिक्स मेजर कैटेगरीज ऑफ कॉग्नेटिव एज प्रोसेसेस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द सिंपलेस्ट to the most complex this domain can be classified into five different categories one remembering two understanding three applying four analyzing and five evaluating and six creating affective feeling domain An affective domain is one of the three categories of Bloom's taxonomy. An affective domain describes various learning objectives among students that highlight a feeling, an emotion, attitude and a degree of acceptance or rejection. This domain talks about ways in which students respond to internal and external phenomena. emotionally it includes information about their values things that spark enthusiasm as well as aspects that motivate them this domain can be classified into five different categories one receiving two responding three valuing four organization and five categorization psychomotor doing domain the psychomotor domain encompasses the ability of learners to physically accomplish tasks and perform movement and skills the seven major categories are listed from the simplest behavior to the most complex one perception awareness two set readiness to act it includes mental physical and emotional sets 3 guided response 4 mechanism 5 complex overt response the skillful performance of motor acts that involve complex movement patterns 6 adaptation and 7 origination creating new movement patterns to fit a particular situation or specific problem 36 census based assessment assessing the entire population is called a census a national assessment in which all or nearly all schools and students at a specific grade or age level participate in termed census or population based a census based assessment can provide diagnostic data on each school help plan interventions and inform communities or parents about individual school performance they may also serve to hold teachers schools districts and other responsible actors accountable for their students learning outcomes a census based assessment is required if policy or decision makers seek information about all schools in the education system page number 48 1 to provide diagnostic data to each school two to plan interventions or decide on resource allocation in individual schools that are identified as experiencing problems three to inform parents and communities about the performance 
of individual schools. 4. To institute an accountability system. 37. Child Friendly School CFS To be based on the simple premise that schools can and should operate in the best interest of the child. Educational environments must be safe, healthy and protective, staffed with trained teachers, equipped with adequate resources and offering conditions appropriate for learning. Please refer to the School Safety Guidelines of the Ministry of Education. Document is available at https colon slash slash dsel dot education dot gov dot in slash sites slash default slash files slash update slash guidelines hyphen s s s dot pdf 38 child centric pedagogy child centric pedagogy prioritizes interests needs abilities age grade and holistic development of the child in this pedagogy the child is regarded as the center of the teaching learning process 39 classroom transaction classroom transactions based on lesson plans by integrating real life situations keeping in view inter or multidisciplinary learning for the student to be able to attain competency in each area teachers shall be empowered to develop their own innovative teaching aids and tools with local resources for making their classroom transactions engaging and joyful. Sustained and active engagement with every child. Experimentation and demonstration. Hands-on activity-based learning. Peer-to-peer -peer collaborative learning. Problem solving. Culture of beyond textbooks and inquiry-based learning. Page number 49. 40. Classroom management. Classroom management refers to the wide variety of skills and techniques that teachers use to keep students organized, orderly, focused, attentive, on task and academically productive during a class. When classroom management strategies are executed effectively, teachers minimize the behaviors that impede learning for both individual students and groups of students while maximizing the behavior that facilitate or enhance learning. 41. Cluster Resource Center CRC CRCs have been conceptualized to function an academic resource centers with adequate resource or reference materials for teachers. Approximately 15 to 18 neighborhood schools are grouped together for optimum monitoring and on-site support to teachers through setting up of a CRC. CRC has one cluster resource coordinator. CRCs are the most critical units for ensuring and evaluating the quality of education at school level on a constant basis and provide timely remedial interventions. 42. Codification of Learning Outcomes The learning outcomes for foundational learning have been divided into three developmental goals. 
गोल वन एच डब्ल्यू हेल्थ एंड वेल बींग गोल टू ई सी इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेटर्स गोल थ्री आई एल इन्वॉल्व लर्नर्स ईच लर्निंग आउटकम हैज बीन गिवन अ नंबर और कोड फॉर ईजी आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड रेफरेंसिंग It is important to understand that these numbers are not hierarchical but these experiences can be provided simultaneously in an integrated way description of codification h w goal or area 1 level year 1 learning outcome 43 cognition cognition is defined as the mental action or process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought experience and the senses it is in essence the ability to perceive and react process and understand store and retrieve information make decisions and produce appropriate responses page number 50 44 community school schools open beyond ordinary hours for various purposes for the use of students their parents and the community where all members of the society participate 45 competency competencies are statements that specify what children will know be able to or be able to demonstrate when they have completed or participated in a course or program 46 competency based assessment CBA when assessment is undertaken to assess a learner's progress in achieving defined learning goals or competencies or learning outcomes it is considered as CBA National Achievement Survey NAS is a form of CBA It is an outcome based approach to education to ensure proficiency in learning by students through demonstration of the knowledge skills values and attitudes required for dealing with real life situations at the age and grade appropriate level 47 conducive learning environment The learning environment should provide children and adults with a sense of well-being, safety and frequent opportunities for interaction. A variety of culturally relevant and meaningful learning materials should be available including visual displays, books, art supplies etc. Schools should have access to clean drinking water nutritious meals and adequate sanitation facilities guidelines on school safety and security of ministry of education available at https://dsel.education.gov.in/sites/default slash files slash update slash guidelines hyphen sss dot pdf 48 continuous and comprehensive evaluation continuous and comprehensive evaluation or cce recommended as a school based system of evaluation by different policy documents from time to time and mandated under section 29 2 
of the right of children to free and compulsory education RTE Act 2009 This is an effective and potent tool to help teachers parents or guardians and children themselves take charge of the learning and development CCE aims at the overall development physical socio emotional besides the cognitive of a child and envisages assessment as an integral component of teaching learning document on continuous and comprehensive evaluation cce developed by ncert available at https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash announcement slash cce hyphen guidelines dot pdf forty nine curriculum curriculum is a set of planned activities which are designed to implement a particular educational aim in terms of the content what is to be taught and the knowledge skills and attitudes which are to be deliberately fostered together with statements of criteria for selection of content and choices in methods materials and evaluation in reference to the framework above it would mean the curriculum core and syllabus put together curriculum is the central guide for all educators as to what is essential for teaching and learning so that every student has access 50 developmental goals under foundational learning the nep 2020 has focused on the holistic development of the child there are different domains of development like physical and motor development socio emotional development literacy and numeracy development cognitive development spiritual and moral development art and aesthetic development which are interrelated and interdependent all these domains have been subsumed into three major goals goal 1 health and well-being hw goal 2 effective communicator or ec goal 3 involved learners or il the developmental goals have been further divided into six levels corresponding to the three years of ecce followed by Three years of schooling. Level one, preschool. Level two, preschool. Level three, preschool or Bal Vatika three. Level four, class one. Level five, class two. Level six, class three. Fifty one. district resource groups drg drg have been formed at the district for the purpose of augmenting necessary suggestions proposals adopting appropriate measures and ensuring continuous monitoring and supervision of all activities relating to improvement of quality of education in the state 52 early grade reading assessment egra oral assessment tool designed to measure basic skills for literacy in children in early grades it focuses on the individual child and is a one to one assessment the tool measures recognition of letters reading simple words understanding sentences and paragraphs and comprehensions 
the assessment is used to measure children's progress toward learning to read. Page number 52 53. Early Literacy Early literacy does not mean teaching young children how to read. Instead, it means helping children develop the skills they will need to become successful readers. Early literacy activities build rich language skills, vocabulary, self-expression and understanding, comprehension. These skills help children make sense of printed words when they start reading. 54. Early Numeracy Early numeracy is the ability to recognize and apply maths concepts with various skills that begin to develop during the early years and continue through adulthood. Numeracy skills involve understanding numbers, counting, solving number problems, measuring, estimating, sorting, noticing patterns, adding and subtracting numbers and so on. Children must also develop a set of important thinking and reasoning skills. 55. Energized Textbooks ETB ETB is a feature aimed at providing access through QR codes to digital content for various topics in physical textbooks in any time, anywhere mode. On Diksha, books are compiled or curated from school books or any book that confirms to the syllabi of state or central board. CBSC or any recognized institution or publication such as from NCERT or SCERT in the said medium of instruction and language. QR codes are tagged to chapters or topics in these books. The e-content behind these QR codes in the form of audio, video, text, item banks, etc. can be accessed simply with the help of a barcode reader or scanning on Diksha app. Once scanned, the content is available in offline mode as well. 56. Experiential Learning Experiential learning is the process of learning by doing. By engaging students, in hands-on experiences and reflection. They are better able to connect theories and knowledge learned in the classroom to real-world situations. 57. First-generation learners refers to the students who are the first in their own family's entire generations so far to go to school and receive an education or whose parents have attended the formal education system up till the primary level of schooling. 58. Foundational Literacy and Numeracy, FLN It is the ability to read with comprehension or meaning and perform basic math calculations by the end of class 3, which covers the age group of 3 to 9 years at foundational level. Read with comprehension. Write. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Basic mathematical operations. A, B, C. Learn basic life skills. You are just listening to this audio. Chapter 3 Quality, Curriculum and Assessment Part 1 Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Narrator Bavla Kochar Guidance Vandana Arimardan Ajit Horo Production Assistant Ruchi Sharma Director and Producer 
विमलेश चौधरी दिस प्रोग्राम इज प्रेजेंटेड टू यू बाई सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी न्यू डेली इंडिया